Hey. This is awkward. Okay, again, again. We got okay. this. Let's do a better one. Okay, so. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Wait, one more time. One more time. One more time. Okay, um, you start. You start. Uh. <laughs> Why do you do we don't need to do it. Okay. I know. We're act fine. I'm an actor and I still can't. Oh my god, hi. Oh my god, hi. <laughs> have you here this Thank is the you. first time i'm doing an interview on like a youtube on the youtube i usually do on live stream so you're the first one wow i like that i like that a lot that's fun yeah welcome youtube okay so i'm gonna jump to the questions because i have quite a lot to ask so yeah. how are things going with you did you learn anything new during the pandemic how was it for you well uh, I'm sure a lot of us can contest to this, but I learned a lot during the pandemic uh, about myself, you know, about the world we live in and uh, and also how much I love my family. I get to, you know, um, I've, I've, I've been living away from home for like many years now. And but because of the pandemic, all of my siblings and, and my parents, we all were stuck in like well, you know, my parents divorced. So we had two houses, but it's like we we're all stuck in like like as neighbors and we were all living together for like six seven months so it Damn. was uh it was awesome it was awesome but we had like we had like you know it's just like stuff like like waking up in the middle of the night to go make a bowl of cereal and then mm -hmm. you sit your brothers there making cereal too and just like those conversations like the little things is what counts you know i, I love that what about yeah. you Did you learn anything during the pandemic yeah it was actually a lot like i learned so much about my about myself i grew so much like when i look at myself from the beginning of this year and i look at myself now it's like a complete different person but that thing with family too like i'm always traveling i'm always touring so like staying at home and like living with my mom and my sister and like doing all these little things like watching a movie or like cooking a meal together so important so important i love that the so much things. what kind of food you guys make Mm, we do, we do so much. We, no, but we all go one? for like pasta and stuff. Yeah, pa uh, pasta. Pasta, pasta, man, so good. Have you, have you done? Have you tried brigadeiro? It's like a Brazilian thing. No, but you know what? It is that a Christmas tradition for you guys? Like, do people? No, okay. It's a live tradition. Like we eat so much oh, brigadeiro. Yeah. Brigadeiro. Let me. Uh, I can't Google it. I'm on my phone. Brigadeiro. Actually, I my iPad. Brigadeiro would be. Is it what's it made out of? It's um chocolate powder and then butter and then condensed milk. So good. Oh, uh, brigadeiro. Oh, yeah. oh my God, they're like little timbits. Yeah, are you Canadian? I don't even. know. I am Canadian. Look at that. I heard like, it when you said eh. They're like little balls <laughs> of fun. Timbits is amazing, but timbits is like dough. Um, brigadeiro is like chocolate, but different yeah, chocolate. Like mousse. It's, like yeah, like yeah, look at the inside you of that can't one. Explain it. It's just perfect. <laughs> yeah, I, amen. Amen to that. You make just amen. the chocolate. So ones. when you come to Brazil, first thing you try brigadeiro. Everybody. Are you gonna it. make me some brigadeiro? Oh yeah, I can make you some brigadeiro. <laughs> uh, if you want, I could send you like you know a couple of jars of maple syrup. You could send me a couple of brigadeiros. Hey. You, want to, you want to do this switch? Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> I love Tim Horton. Let's talk about Julian Phantoms now. Um, so many things have changed since it came out. Like you hit a million followers on Instagram and like. You just conquered so many fans all around the world. How crazy is that for you? How do you feel about that? Awesome, awesome. They, um, the craziest thing, like I, I uh, you know, I always, I always thought, like a lot of people always like, hey, you know, when you start getting fans, like make sure you know who you are because, like, you know, want to make sure that you can hold on to, like, to, to who you are when you do it. But mm -hmm. the fans are like are like discovering things about me that I didn't even really even put many much attention to. You know, until mm -hmm. they started putting attention to it. And I think that's like, I, I don't know, it's so, it's so unique. It's such a cool thing. They, all, they're they just a bunch of balls of love. All they all they do is support and, and, and love the show that we love so much and sing our songs and dance and make the funniest memes. Um, oh my like, God. I, I, are they, aren't they fun? Don't you love the memes? Yeah. I love them. It's terrible. Oh my God. Recently, I had like the worst memes done of me. They're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're terrible. Would you I like to spill the tea you, on that? It's like, no. yeah, I was jumping from like a yacht and like I was like this in the air and they just started putting me on a, like a bunch of different scenarios with that picture. So They'll bad. They'll cut you out. They'll cut you out. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah they they put you everywhere. Off. Yeah, like, the, like they'll put you next to like classic memes too and they're cute. They're really cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I, and they, 
and they, they 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 support so much like they want you know they want me to push myself in so many directions which is like amazing too like like they they're just they're just support it's like you know you know like yeah. your mom you know like one of your first recitals or like your first little music shows you did your mom was like uh -huh. on the side or your dad was there with the camera like filming in like you know like <laughs> big smile on the faces yeah now imagine that but just times exactly like million you know it's like that's all yeah. they're all doing because they're all excited it's kind of cool oh yeah. uh, that's so cute that's so cute the relationship you have with your fans sounds like it's really good is there any behind the scenes fun story that you have to tell me we had um you know we had a good time we had a really really fun time making it and um it, it's like take us back to 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 the start it just grew with like the whole thing's just been growing and growing with us and it's like when we were like doing our rehearsals oh my god so the i rehearsals like are the, best. the rehearsals are the best but we had a month in between the rehearsal starting and the day that we booked it. So I went, I was like, I'm gonna be gone for a while. So I went home for a month and I got to hang out with my family and do all stuff. But uh, but then they sent us all the songs and I, I never had any like 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 training on like vocals before, just like instruments mm -hmm. and stuff. And uh, really? so I was just like, good. oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, you as well. <laughs> and like, it's so I, I was just singing it and singing it and singing it and singing it and singing it. And, singing it. and to the point where I like, I couldn't even speak anymore. And it lasted, for like a month where I I, I, I I was like, you know, I was talking like like raspiness. And so for the first two weeks of boot camp, I was not allowed to talk. The doctor's all like, he can't talk, he can't do. So while we were having like voice lessons, I was just kind of standing there like, like we can't. So I was doing guitar, I was doing dance, uh, you know, discovery and, and, um, but everyone was fun. It was fun. I, I, it helped. I got to learn who everybody was by doing that too. And but uh okay wait the first thing that we did so everybody went off in their own thing right we booked the rules and uh maddie mm -hmm. had her dad and her uh, cousin was in town jared was from cali at the time so he like went and celebrated with his family and it was just owen and i that were left and that's when we kind of started playing like what are the odds i mean i would play always play with like my siblings but i knew <laughs> this kid was going to be fun because we played what are the odds of him jumping in a fountain and he did it <laughs> he did it it was like the first and then after that after jumping the fountain, he jumped in a pool fully clothed. Um, on the same night, I was like, "This kid's about to. This kid's. This kid's hilarious." Oh my God, yeah, I love yeah. these games, but like, what I about, never do them. You don't play what are the odds? Well, I play what are the odds, but I, I always chicken out, man. When it's like things like that, like, oh, jump in the fountain, no. and I'm like, uh -uh. <laughs> no chicken and out, chicken and out. You get a little notch on the eyebrow. I I've, I've never done that, but uh, and I've chicken out. Yeah, you see, like if somebody would be like jumping a fountain, what are the odds that you would do it? <laughs> well, that's fun. That's fun. I mean, that's a one out of three. A fountain is like all you do is get wet. Oh my god, we would jump in fountain up in Cali, uh, up in Vancouver. Sorry, sorry, we get sick. <laughs> Sorry, and we get we get <laughs> like <laughs> I'm gonna call you out in yours. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I love. No, the I don't sorry. care. I don't it's care. Like you say sorry. Part. Isn't uh, it like a Canadian thing to say sorry a lot? Well, yeah. No, we say we say. I guess we say sorry. I mean, it's more. It's like I I, I think they said all all across Canada. Uh -huh. Oh, here's Owen. This is the first fountain that he jumped in. Three, two, one, go, 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 go. Ah! Uh, oh my That's God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this place. Uh, you got any good stories from your from your times touring? Any good little insider? Yeah. It's like the same with you. I have so many that it's hard to think of one. Yeah. It's like so much happened. Let me, let me think of one. Oh, there was this time where I fell into a pool. We had this performance and the stage was like, on water and we were on rehearsals and like people were walking so slow and i just wanted to get just go home so i was like trying to like take a shortcut on the go stage them. but i tripped yeah and then i tripped and fell into the water and it was freezing we were in austria it was like so cold it was like five five celsius how many people you know? and how like, many people saw everybody and i was like so desperate because i'm such a terrible swimmer i swear and i was like <laughs> this is I thought I was gonna is die. Is there a video of this? Fine. Huh? Is there a video of this online? There's a video of this online. <laughs> <laughs> and he... I'm always the one that falls. Like I fell off stage once too when we performed at So You Think You Can Dance, and I broke my my thumb. What? I know. I, I'm always falling. Recently, I was Why? in Dubai. Why are you falling off? Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. How are you falling off the? There, it's a big stage. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the stage okay i wasn't the first one that fell though like the stage was a bit like weird um so 
So I was just walking and there was like so much lighting and no tape, no mm -hmm. highlighted tape. So I couldn't see no, the edge. Yeah, it was yeah so I was just like, probably. I was just walking and then suddenly there was no floor and it was like a big, a big oh, bowl. No. And I just went Bleh. Yeah. And then I performed the other day with a cast on my arm. We put like this bedazzled thing on top of the cast and I was just oh, of singing. Of <laughs> <Yeah, style laughs> I yeah, just was smiling through the pain. It was great. <laughs> I have broken a thumb. A thumb isn't easy to get over. A thumb is a yeah, hard one. Yeah, and then I recently broke a toe because I was in the middle of the desert and there was this rock that was buried in sand and I just decided to walk on the desert barefoot because it's healing <laughs> and then just kicked the rock. I like where you're breaking things. It's a so it's so much better than than a really like, at least they're very good stories like the way you broke it, you know? Uh -huh. I, 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 you broke something before? Yeah, I was in the desert kick the rock <laughs> it's true uh, it's you true. broke your thumb yeah i was on stage fell off <laughs> i broke my arm when i was a kid i was just running backwards and i tripped <laughs> yeah it's true looking from that point of view my stories are pretty great so i heard you also went to hawaii with the cast like you guys are all so close together you're like really good friends right what's your yeah. relationship with the crew and how was the trip because i was going to hawaii once and then COVID came so i'm really curious to know do you never been no like they talk like if i were to say like magic mm -hmm. hawaii. my my buddy was just telling me today is like he was like isn't there like 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 this like spirit puts a spell on you when you go to hawaii and it just makes you fall in love with it and i swear to god it's like you could feel the the way the wind would kind of rush and blow past you at nighttime it's like it was talking no, i sound so cheesy but wow it, that's it, so it, deep. It was, <laughs> Oh, you should have seen it. It was a full moon. It was, it was massive. It was the most, oh my God. it was, talk to, talk to people. Hey, in the comments, let me know if you've mm -hmm. been to Hawaii and let me know if you felt that spirit. So have you ever traveled anywhere else in the world? Well, what is your most memorable trip? This was one time. Um, I was living in mm. Toronto at the time and a really good friend of mine uh, works for the airline. So he gets like, you know, really cheap tickets. And, Ooh, and I, have a, I have a friend that works at an airline and I always ask him for stuff. Always. So always. Great. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to go. So I wasn't going to go. He came, he was staying at my place for a couple of days before he packed up him and another friend. I wasn't supposed to go. Uh, I'm like, I can't go right now. I need it. I need I have to do this audition. I gotta, I get, you know, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I gotta figure this out. He's like, come on, you should call him. I'm like, nah, nah, I'm not gonna go. Two hours before um, he was leaving for the airport. Yeah, yeah, I'll go, I'll go. So we get to the airport. Uh, and we were supposed to go to like a Caribbean island or, or whatever. Like we were someplace Ooh. hot. So we packed shorts and we packed like really nice because it was winter in, 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 in um, Canada at the time. Man. And then next thing you know, the flight got canceled like while we were in the airport and we had no place to go because the flight wasn't going to let us on. And and so we were just sitting in the airport like, are we going back to back to my place? And we all kind of decided like, no. What's next? What's next? And so we were just sitting and then the big screen was in front of us with all the flight statuses on. And then Munich popped up. That was the next flight that was taking off in like 20 minutes. We're like, do you guys want to go to Munich? Uh, never heard of Munich, Germany. And we thought like, we packed shorts. We were ready for some summer. It was dead ass winter. It was oh my crazy God. cold. So we show up to Munich and we had the best time though. We met some of the coolest people. Um, you know, we were staying in a hostel, which felt more like a dungeon because there was bars on the windows. And, and <laughs> <laughs> but we had a, it's gonna be one of like my most memorable trips, you know? Um, it just happened so randomly. Like in a day we were in Munich, you know? Wow, that sounds fun though. It could actually be like a comedy movie or something. Okay, do you know anything about Brazilian fans and Brazilian culture at all? Any Portuguese words? Ute amo. Mm, I got you. <laughs> and um, and also, there's this festival that you guys have. It's not in um, it's 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 in a it's in a city that's I forget the name of the city, but it, it was one of the most beautiful things. I had this big conversation with one of the fans, but it's like this massive parade that I think lasts a couple of days and people are just all dressed up in like, um, you know, cultural attires and then- Carnival. Carnival, that's what it was. We were talking about because you guys don't have Halloween. You have Carnival. Yes, yes. <laughs> you said oh it's so excited. I, I did, it. I did. I, I, I kept on, I started watching, like I fell down like a YouTube uh, hole of just like watching videos of, of it. And I am so sad that we don't have that in Canada, the way you guys Carnival do it. Carnival is, is beautiful. Amazing. Yeah. It's like the craziest version of a music festival. Yeah, the but craziest they, version of music. The craziest, <laughs> craziest. There's like people all over the street and there's like music everywhere and it's so colorful and people are just happy. And and it's just like a celebration of of, of life, of, of people, you know, of um when I say life, you know, of you know life that just entails so much, yeah. you know. So um I, I 
yeah, one day, one day I will be marching those streets and um, we'll be celebrating at Camila. I think that'll be fun. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm excited for you to come to Brazil. And another random question, just like off topic. Um, if you had the opportunity to do musical theater, would you do it? Actually, have you done it at all? Well, we did a couple musicals growing up. Yeah, like in community theater and, and stuff. Uh, uh, if I... I loved it. That's why I think we're putting so much energy in in playing, you know, really learning the songs and, and really trying to play it as a band uh, rather than just, you know, fake it for the TV and then play it afterwards. Because we want to go tour and we want to go play some shows because we want we want to feel that like instant connection. Uh -huh. with people. We want to feel that like we can feel it through the phone, uh, which is pretty cool. But I mean, it's the human connection that you want. You want to yeah, feel it. It's different. It's definitely different. The thing that I miss so much, like playing shows real shows mm -hmm. and i had the opportunity to do recently in dubai it was great i went to this um festival called global village it was yeah. so i definitely understand you like when i was on stage and i was seeing people and i was like i'm doing this oh it felt so different yeah it does there's this energy you know one of my favorite like uh it, it's crazy because like i know now i've done things in front of a lot of people at times and and but my the best the best moment was this adrenaline rush that i had when we were, we were like doing this like halloween skit um, nobody knew we were doing it, but we get no, we didn't have wrestlers at our school, but we had still the uniforms from like the seventies. And so me and my buddies would put those on. We were in rollerblades, and and then uh, we came out and we did this big dance number in front of the, like the whole school and like our quad, and people had no idea. And when we came out, like the reaction was nuts. People were like freaking out. They were laughing, but they were like cheering us on and like clapping and and um, and this like this like. I, it's like I could feel their 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 hype and I could feel their anticipation. I could like we were like connected for a moment and I want to do that so bad with this show. You know, I want to play these songs and feel I want like I can't wait to be like like boom, like throw the mic back and then let them sing for a little bit and just like feel that for a moment, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, my god, I'm here. excited for you. I hope it happens. And if it happens, I'm gonna be there if you ever come to Yeah, you come up on I'm stage. gonna be there. I'm gonna be, yeah. be singing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now let's talk about you. I heard something about a movie. Do you have any news for us or like anything that's going to happen in the near future? Yeah, we got a couple of things in the works that I'm excited about. I think it's I think it's fun. They're really uh they're really fun little scripts. They're, you know, they're they're can't talk too much. I, I just cuz I I can't I can't say too much about it yet, but Okay. Uh, the very serious, which is uh, kind of ex you know exciting. You know, you get to you get to work with that. The, you know, one of their concepts is really fun. It's uh, basically like everything is kind of like if you took your took all your like your your uh, your videography from your entire life, like all your memories and stuff, and then you put uh, you put them all together and then created a story through like these like random moments in your life, and that's mm -hmm. how like the the the, the movie shape. And so um, you know, I, I'm really excited to see how how that looks and. And how the how these like random bursts of memories are going to come into create this story because that's how we created it was just like as if we just pulled out our phones and recorded it um so i'm really excited i'm really excited to see that one that one there is called uh, uh love you anyways hey i'm excited can't wait for it to come out and since we were talking about shows before um what do you think of a, a Julian Phantom's virtual show? Do you think it, that that's a good idea? Is it gonna happen? Can we wait for it? I think it'd be awesome. At the end of the day, it's really it's what the fans want. What I, I think we would love to do some sort of. It's just hard because we're so right now because of COVID, we're so separated in the country, and and we've done the we tried doing mm -hmm. the you know we recorded the different parts of the song and then and then played it uh, and then mm -hmm. did it at at our houses, right? And, but we get to sing a couple of our songs. So I think the next thing that we would want to do is at least, you know, be together, be in uh, in a space where we can record them. And, you know, it could either, but we want to also do it like, you know, the way that the songs are written, like play it the, uh -huh. the rock ways, not just like acoustic, you know, play it the way that, uh -huh. that these songs yeah. are, are, are are played. So um, yeah, fingers, fingers crossed one day we just, I guess we gotta, Gotta get on board, gotta do it. It's true. Okay, I can't wait for it. And I guess that's all the questions I had to ask you. Is there anything you want to say? Do you want to leave a message to your Brazilian fans or to all of your fans, actually? Do you want to teach me something new to say in Portuguese? It's true. That's a good idea. Okay. Um, what do you want to learn? Is there anything special? Well, I know it's Uti I know that means I love you. Uh, yeah. How do you say, like, uh, you know, like, the saying, like, uh, I, I love you to the moon and back. Mm, that's the that's a, a, an English saying. I don't think we have it in Portuguese. Do we? How would you say? Um, I would say I love you from uh, Canada and back. <laughs> um, that's a good question. Wait, how, how would you translate? I'm gonna ask. I, I'm gonna ask for help. 
Lucas, como é que você fala isso? Como vocês no Canadá. E de volta? É, e de volta. Ok, uh, ok. Got it, got it. I got some help here. Um, eu amo vocês. One more time. Eu amo vocês. Você. Vocês. Eu amo vocês. Eu te amo. <laughs> It's a long sentence. It's, eu amo vocês do Canadá e de volta. Deixa eu ler. Eu amo você. Eu amo você. Eu amo Canadá e de Chipotle. It was good. It was close. That was actually so far. But okay, I'm going to teach you something simple. Let me see. Um, I'm going to teach you how to introduce yourself. That's going to be useful. Say, um, meu nome é? Meu nome é? Charlie. Meu nome é Charlie. There you go. Meu nome é? Meu nome é? Uh, how do you say? How do you say? Uh, did you watch? Did you watch Julian Phantoms? Você assistiu Julian Phantoms? Você assistiu Julian the Phantoms? That's no, fantastic. The title. Right? Yeah, the title is a little Ilias complicated. Fantasmas. If you want to learn it, I can say it. Julie. Julie. Eus Fantasma. Eus. Oh, it's Eus? Eus. That's like. Eus. N. Eus. Julie Eus yeah. Fantasmas. Eus Fantasmas. Julie Eus Fantasmas. Oh, yeah. Julie Eus Fantasmas. Julie Eus Fantasmas. Você assistiu Julie Eus Fantasmas? You know they're gonna take this clip and they're gonna put it next to uh, the Phoebe and Joey uh, scene where Phoebe's trying to teach Joey how to speak French and he's like Oh my god, yes! Vous? Blue, blue, blue. Vous? Voulez-vous? <laughs> Voulez-vous? <laughs> Voulez-vous danser? Oh, blue, 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 blue. <laughs> Je m'appelle Claude. Je te flou flee. <laughs> blue, 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 blue. You, you like French? Love French. <gasps> Yeah. Are you kidding me? I love Friends. I'm like yeah. the biggest Friends fan. Love, it's love, show. love. It's, good show. it's just such a, it's just such a, a happy show every time I watch the episodes. I love the comedy in it. Uh, I think they're, they got such a great character dynamic between all of them. So easy to watch. We got the same, uh, we got the same uh, Netflix, uh, Netflix, uh, uh, what, uh, love list. shows list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's got to be it's a word true. for that. <laughs> Thank you so much. The fans are gonna go crazy, and yeah, I hope it's good for you too. I hope people people like the interview. Bye, bye everybody. Bye, bye. Thank you so much. <laughs>